Good afternoon, I'm Sam Loveland. And I'm Nick Russo, and this is Wolfpack News for Tuesday, November 12, 2013. Topping the news, auditions for the winter play, Jason and the Argonauts, will be in B-160 today at 3. If you have any questions, please see Mr. O'Neill. If you're looking for service hours, the Oswego Senior Center needs volunteers to help paint ceramic ornaments with our upcoming holiday bazaar. Boulder Hill Elementary School needs help for market day pickup. Come to Student Services for more ideas. Please check your lockers, cars, bedrooms, and refrigerators for any books that belong to the school library. They have a pretty long list of overdue and missing items and an equally long list of students who want to read those items. Drop off the books in the LRC, no questions asked. Students who want to be after-school homework helpers for the Kids Connection program, please see Mr. Byron in Student Services. Do you know someone who displays the six pillars of character? The program will be administrated, administered through the Character Counts Coalition, and nomination forms will be available at the Oswego Village Hall, Police Department, Park Districts, and the Chambers of Commerce. They will also be the Character Counts Coalition websites, which can be found on the school district's homepage. The people nominated that display certain traits, like honesty, reliability, loyalty, and many others are up for awards. Winners of the award will win a special Character Counts t-shirt with the colors that represent each of the six pillars. They will also receive a certificate presented at the, the village board meeting. Now more than ever, the Oswego Montgomery Police Departments feel that we need to identify and recognize individuals in our communities who represent good character. By creating these prestigious awards, others in our communities will have the opportunity to celebrate our true heroes and the future leaders. The program will also enhance the relationship between the police departments and the citizens of the communities and foster positive interaction so the word can get out that character counts in everyone. If you have received an invitation to attend talk, please sign up in student services because space is limited. Now it's time for entertainment. Here's Mary. Tonight, the marching band potluck dinner and awards night will take place at 6 p.m. at OEHS. All 2013 marching band students and family members are invited to attend this casual event. If possible, please, please bring the following types of food to share. Garden sousaphones should bring a dessert. Flutes, clarinets, alto saxes, tenor saxes, trumpets, baritones, and batteries should bring an entree. Drum majors, mellophones, trombones, and pit should bring a side dish. Plates, napkins, cups, and drinks will be provided. Congratulations and best wishes to Greg Newman, a senior trombonist at OEHS, as he performs during the District 9 ILMEA Honors Jazz Band this weekend. That's latest in entertainment news. Now back to the Anchor Desk. World Language Night is Tuesday, November 19th. The OEHS and OHS World Language Departments are working together to raise awareness about high school language classes and what each program has to offer. It is from 7 to 8.30 here in the World Language Wing. And now it's time for sports. Here's Kristen. All boys soccer players, if you haven't turned in your banquet money in response, please do so. See Coach Szymanski with questions. The banquet is November 24th at 5 p.m. There's an informational meeting tomorrow at 7 p.m. for anyone interested in joining the Oswego Blues Rugby Club. If you have any questions, please see Mr. O'Neill. There will be a short informational meeting for anyone interested in playing softball in the spring on Tuesday, November 19th at 7 a.m. in C117. If you cannot attend, please, make, please see Coach Nussel or Coach Green for information. Girls Bowling starts Monday the 18th. All those interested needed to complete their online registration through the athletic webpage and have a current physical. There is a shuttle bus available to take you to Parkside. It will meet you at door 41 at around 2.45. You will need to get picked up after practice at Parkside. Practice runs until 5.15 p.m. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Sam Loveland. And I'm Nick Russo. Join us again tomorrow here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da